hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm so glad you stopped by well it's time for another yay or nay and that's an episode on my channel where i feature a different kind of food product that i find on sale to see if it tastes good and now today we are going to be trying this crusty's triple chocolate chunk cookies now normally i like to make homemade cookies um, and I always bring some to my grandsons when I visit every week, but I just didn't have time today And I got this on sale for $2.29. So we're gonna see if they pass the test. So stay tuned So here is the front of the box and it says it's made with three types of chocolate It's bittersweet semi-sweet and milk now I didn't know this but they have this little story on the side about how they came to be back in 1932 during the Pre depression this group of housewives came up with this pie crust mix and they sold it door to door well of course since then they've made all kinds of different products like muffins and cookies but I thought that was a really cool story I didn't know that now you're also going to need a large egg and a stick of butter now if your butter isn't room temperature i like to put it on defrost when i'm softening it don't put it on full power because then it's just going to melt before the inside gets soft so i do 30 seconds on defrost i flip it over and then i do another 30 seconds and see it's perfectly soft now it's not all melty so i just put the butter and the large egg in the bowl and added all of the dry mix and just stirred it by hand and then this is what it looks like and i just took some parchment paper and a one tablespoon uh, cookie scoop and just scoop them out just like this and then we're going to bake them at 375 for eight to ten minutes i baked mine for eight minutes i don't like them too brown i just like them barely brown on the outside now they don't exactly look like the picture, but my friend's a food stylist and she says sometimes they don't even use real food when they're doing those pictures. But I thought they looked really good. Now I did do a little experiment. Now see the size of these and the flatness of them. Now the other half of the cookie mix I put in the freezer for 10 minutes to see if that would make a difference if they got a little thicker. And I think they did get a tiny bit thicker. Um, but either way, they look great. So let's, um, give them a taste test. So hang on All right, so let's give these a try Now the thing I first noticed about them was they are not skippy on the chocolate, which I really like so Sorry, I took too big of a bite Yes, they pass Now if I put these in front of you versus some that I had just made homemade. I'm not sure you could tell the difference. They're really good. They do have just an ever so slightly different taste than homemade, but overall, these are a very good mix when you don't have time to make them yourself, or if you think about it, chocolate to get three different kinds of chocolate chips because it has semi-sweet bittersweet and milk chocolate chips it would cost you like ten dollars just to get the chips so i think this is totally worth the 229 so i'm giving it my thumbs up so if you guys see it in the store um, i would pick some up so thanks for watching and we will see you on the next episode bye everybody